Israel and France. I'm marching today with Jews for boycotting Israeli goods. I'm also a member of um, Jews Against Zionism. I've come down today because of my outrage at Israel's latest crime against humanity. Yes. And uh, so you yourself, you're uh, Jewish yourself? Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. Jewish heritage? Jewish background, Jewish okay. origin, yeah. And, and what, what do you think is the reaction from the Jewish community about the ongoing atrocities that Israel commits? Uh, it's mixed, isn't it? I mean, some people are in denial, some people are defending it, and an increasing number of people are drawing the conclusions that, that we've drawn and are rejecting it totally. And what would you like the uh, British government to do today? First thing, to kick out the Israeli ambassador. Yeah. To stop all trade with Israel, particularly the arms trade. Uh, I mean, for all we know, it was British weapons that were used. They sell, they're selling small arms to Israel and ammunition. It could have been British weapons used. They sell helicopter parts to Israel. They could have been involved. Yes. To stop the arms trade with Israel. And the charitable status of the Zionist bodies that raise money here as charities to kick Palestinians off their land for um, racist apartheid enclaves in Israel. Yeah. Cut all ties with Israel. Basically make it uh, seem to be the prior state that all decent people know that it is. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so you're aware of charities, uh, Zionist charities, that are they're raising money yeah. to bulldoze uh, Palestinian in fact, homes. Yes. Yeah. And they're operating here in London. Yeah. The Jewish National Fund, Karen Kayyem in Israel. Yeah. They, Israel, I mean, they're here, they're charitable bodies. Yes. So they get tax breaks. So they're allowed to raise funds and they get tax breaks. In Israel, they're responsible for administering the land. And they're bound by the constitution only to make land available to Jews. Uh, and it's, they're the bodies that are responsible for the expropriation of land in Palestine and for kicking Palestinians off the land. So they're directly linked to the apartheid policies of Absolutely. Israel. Absolutely. They are the apartheid policies of Israel. My name is Trey Azam. I am a filmmaker and owner of a production company and I'm here today campaigning against Israel because my friend and director my best friend and director is on the boat that was attacked last night. And uh, do you, have you heard anything about his welfare? Have you heard whether he's okay? Or? We don't know how he is. We've not heard from him. All communication has been lost. The last message we got from him was, we're about to be boarded by the Israeli Navy and pray for us. And if I don't make it back, then make sure you name my son after me. And that's the last we've heard from him. I understand that the, um, the Israelis are refusing to release the names of the dead. And they're also, uh, uh, not only that, they've taken the survivors and kidnapped them and taken them to Israel. I think the way that Israel is behaving in front of the world's media, in front of the world's eyes, is absolutely appalling. And I think unless we do something now and say, you know what, we've had enough, this so far is so far. When you're, when you're attacking a charity aid ship with innocent civilians, British innocent civilians, and they're allowed to get away with what they've gotten away with, it's about time the people stood up and said, if our government's not going to do nothing, we're going to do something. And this isn't a one-day thing. We're going to keep doing it until somebody takes note. And uh, what would you like the British government to do now? The British government, for the least, should condemn the actions of Israel, in the least should ensure that the British civilians are okay, and finally, try and explain to us, the British people, why Israel is being allowed to do that under the eye of the greater world and the, the so-called UN. It's disgusting, it's appalling, and I think, you know what, we're not going to stay silent anymore. And uh, what, what's your thoughts on a nation that attacks a registered charity, a registered British charity, a Turkish charity? I can't, I can't say anything against the nation because it's not the Jews necessarily, it's the people in control, it's the Israelites, the Zionists who have done this, the Navy. I don't know who's done this, but all I know is whoever has needs to be held accountable on terrorism charges because attacking a charity convoy is terrorism, plain and simple. My name is David Cross, I'm an artist and I'm a lecturer, um, I teach in art schools and I'm very interested uh, but moreover astonished in Israel's actions. I find them completely unaccountable. Uh, 
usually you would expect uh, the sovereign power to have either a political or an ideological or a military objective of some kind. You'd need to convince uh, your detractors that what you did was just or necessary. I fail to see how any explanation can bring this to a sense of order, that what they've done is completely unaccountable. But it's also absolutely of a piece with Israel's actions over a very long time. I'm dismayed at the way that my government uh, has consistently supported the state of Israel. It's an apartheid state. The whole um, ideology of Zionism, uh, where it's a, a religious and territorial combination of ideas, which is completely uh, impossible to justify in reasonable discourse, consistently delivers this violence and they act with impunity. And it seems to me that maybe Israel wants to test international opinion, having been given a complete carte blanche to do what it wants in the past with Operation Cast Lead remaining uh, in people's minds but in no way brought to justice, they thought maybe they'd take it a bit further. And uh, effectively last night they've, um, they've boarded a, sh a ship using uh, military force and killed uh, 20, uh, 20 charity uh, peace activists, uh, humanitarian activists. Uh, What's your reaction to that? Well, I think the slogan where the people have been saying today, in our thousands, in our millions, we are all Palestinians, becomes true at that moment. Israel has created and radicalised enormous numbers of civilian people who previously would have drifted by and maybe just let it go as one more political cause. But now they're thinking, hang on, this is not uh, militant terrorists who've been attacked, this is ordinary civilians who are acting on the grounds of humanitarian aim, who are compassionate and simply want to see the people of Gaza treated with a tiny basis of respect. I think the, uh, the three-part um, uh, slogan of boycott, divest and sanction is what we need now because I think the, the time for fine words and messages of condolence and uh, detracting the, the loss of life is inadequate as a response. We need action on the economic sphere now. Uh, we need direct effect to be brought to bear and that means not only ceasing to support the State of Israel but also actively to obstruct their militarised uh, uh, incursions upon the people of Gaza and now in international waters as well. They must be stopped, not simply criticised. Uh, uh, my name's Andy Lawson, I'm from the Public and Commercial Services Union. Um, it's a union of 300,000 people representing civil servants and those people um, who have been contracted out of, out of civil service as well. And we're here today to show our solidarity with, um, with the people of Gaza and with the people who were subject to the most horrific act of aggression yesterday night. We're absolutely horrified to learn um, that, that Israeli troops have attacked a humanitarian convoy of, hundreds of, of, of several hundred people, killing, we believe, 20 people and injuring, we understand, 60 more. And we obviously don't, don't have any news from those other people who are, who are part of that humanitarian convoy. It's an unprovoked act of aggression. As far as we're concerned, it's an act of murder and of, pir and of piracy. And if any other country in the world was doing what Israel had done last night, we'd be seeing immediate sanctions and possibly an awful lot worse than that. As a trade union, we stand shoulder to shoulder in solidarity with those people who've been victims of this attack. And we call unreservedly for this country's government to expel the Israeli ambassador and to move to immediate boycott, sanctions and divestment of Israel.